Let us look at how to formulate a linear programming model for a fertilizer mix problem. A manufacturer intends to market a new fertilizer produced from a mixture of two ingredients A and B. The compositions of the two ingredients are as follows. So A is composed of 20% bone metal, 30% nitrogen, 40% lime and 10% phosphate. So basically this is the entire composition of A because 20 plus 30 is 50, 50 plus 40 is 90 and 90 plus 10 is 100. So that 100% makeup of A is broken down as given to us here. For B, the composition is 40% bone metal, 15% nitrogen, 40% lime and 5% phosphate. Now the management decision is that the fertilizer must be sold in bags of 20 kgs, must contain at least 25% bone metal, must contain at least 15% nitrogen and must contain at least 10% phosphate. The cost of ingredients is rupees 20 per kg for A and rupees 16 per kg for B. Write the LP formulation for the quantities of the ingredients to be mixed to minimize the material cost. So basically here we have two ingredients A and B and we have to combine them to create a new fertilizer which is C. Now the condition that has been given to us is that this C should be sold in bags of 20 kgs and the now the quantity of A and B in this 20 kgs have to be such that the final fertilizer which is C contains at least 25% bone metal, 15% nitrogen and 10% phosphate. Now just to understand this in little more detail, let's assume that we take 10 kgs of A and 10 kg of B. So now let's find out what is the composition of A in terms of bone metal, nitrogen, lime and phosphate. So bone metal, nitrogen, lime and phosphate. So, so A which is 10 kgs in the mixture which is C. So A will provide 20% of 10 as bone metal content. So 20% of 10 is 2 kgs. Nitrogen is 30% of 10. So this is 3 kgs. Lime is 40% of 10 which is 4 kgs. And phosphate is 10% of 10 which is 1 kg. For B, Bone metal is 40%, so 40% of 10 which is 4 kgs. Nitrogen is 15% of 10 which is 1.5 kgs. Lime is 40% of 10 which is 4 kgs. And phosphate is 5% of 10 which is 0 0.5 kgs. So now we can find out what is the content of bone metal, nitrogen, lime and phosphate in the 20 kg bag of C because we'll add these two up. So bone metal is 6 kgs, nitrogen is 4.5 kgs, lime is 8 kgs and phosphate is 1.5 kgs. So let's find out if this composition of 10 kgs A and 10 kgs of B meets the management decisions. So the 20 kg bag should have at least 25% bone metal. So 25% of 20 is 5 kgs. So bone metal is 6 kgs which is 
more than 5 kg so this condition is met now nitrogen should be at least 15 percent of 20 kg so 15 percent of 20 is 3 so nitrogen currently is 4.5 so that condition is also met and for phosphate the mixture must contain at least 10 percent so 10 percent of 20 is 2 kgs but here we have only 1.5 kg so this condition is not met so basically this this ratio of 1 is to 1 that is 10 kg is to 10 kg for a and b is not going to meet our conditions so basically we have to formulate this into an lp model so that these conditions are met and at the same time we have also been given that a costs rupees 20 per kg and b costs rupees 16 per kg so the lp formulation should be in a way that the total cost of the 20 kg bags is minimum so this is the information that has been provided to us in this example now the first step in the formulation of an lp model is to decide on the decision variables now this problem is to find the quantity of course in terms of weight of each ingredient that should be available in each bag of 20 kgs so basically we have to find out how much quantity is required for a and for b in a bag of c which is of 20 kgs so let's consider x as the quantity of ingredient a in the bag of 20 kgs so x is the quantity of ingredient A in the bag of 20 kgs and let's say Y is the quantity of ingredient B in the bag of 20 kgs so here basically x and y are the decision variables now the next step is to find the objective function now here the main objective is to minimize the cost of the ingredients so that the cost of the bag of 20 kgs is minimized now we have been given that a has a cost of 20 rupees per kg and b has a cost of 16 rupees per kg so for 1 kg the cost of a is 20 rupees so for x kgs because x is the total quantity of ingredient a in the bag so for x kgs how much is the quantity let's say this is x1 so cross multiplication x1 into 1 is x1 is equal to 20 x so the total cost of ingredient a in the bag of 20 kgs is 20 x similarly for b for 1 kg the cost is 16 rupees so for y kgs how much is the cost let's say this is x2 so again cross multiplication x2 into 1 which is x2 is equal to 16 y so the total cost of b in the bag of 20 kgs is 16 y and this that is 20x plus 16y is the total cost of a and b in the bag of 20 kgs so let's say this is denoted as c now our objective 
is to minimize this total cost. So minimize C where C is equal to 20x plus 16y and this becomes our objective function. So after we have found out the decision variables and the objective function, next we have to find out the constraints. Let me remove this calculation from here. Now the first constraint that has been given to us is that the bag of fertilizer must be of 20 kgs. So the total quantity has to be 20 kgs in terms of weight. Now since the fertilizer is composed of ingredients A and B, basically what this means is that the total weight or total quantity of fertilizer will be equal to the weight of A and B. Now we have considered X as the quantity in terms of weight of ingredient A and Y as the quantity in terms of weight for ingredient B. So the total quantity of A and B in the bag of 20 kgs is X plus Y. So basically our first constraint becomes x plus y is equal to 20. The second constraint given to us is that the fertilizer must contain at least 25% bone metal. Now the total weight of the bag is 20 kgs so 25% of 20 is equal to 5 kgs. So basically what the constraint is that the bag of 20 kgs must have at least 5 kgs of bone metal. Now again the bag of 20 kgs consists of x quantity of A and y quantity of B. So basically each bag of 20 kgs of the fertilizer consists of x kgs of A and y kgs of B. Now this x kgs is made up of 20% of bone metal and this y kgs is made up of 40% of bone metal. So the amount of bone metal in x kgs of A will be 20% of x and the amount of bone metal in y kgs of B is 40% of y. So the total bone metal for x kgs of A and y kgs of B will be 20% which is so 0 0.2 times x plus 40% of y, 40% is 0 0.4 and 40% of y is 0.4 into y. Now this total should at least be 5 kgs. So it can be equal to 5 kg or more than 5 kg. So this has to be equal to or greater than 5 kgs. So this is our second constraint. Now the third constraint is the fertilizer must contain at least 15% nitrogen. Now 15% of 20 is equal to 3 kgs. Now for x kgs of A, the amount of nitrogen will be 30% of x. So that is 0 0.3 times x plus for y kgs of B, the amount of nitrogen will be 15% of y. So 0 0.15 times y and this has to be equal to or more than 3. So greater than or equal to 3. Now the fourth constraint is that the fertilizer must contain at least 10% phosphate. 
so at least 10 percent phosphate now 10 percent of 20 is equal to 2 kgs now in x kgs of a the phosphate is 10 percent so 10 percent of x is 0 0.1 times x plus for y kgs of b the amount of phosphate is 5 percent so 5 percent of y is 0 0.1 0 0.05 times y and this has to be at least equal to 2 kgs so this has to be equal to or greater than 2 so this is our fourth constraint and in addition to these we have our universal constraint for LP models which is that the decision variables should be greater than or equal to 0 so x and y should be greater than or equal to 0 so this is the LP model formulation for this problem.